This video will talk about consecutive integers in applications of quadratics. Consecutive integers would be like starting here at negative 4, and then we want to put an x above every number or integer up to 1, just for examples. But as you can see, as we go from negative 4 to negative 3, we went one place, and then from negative 3 over to negative 2, and so on, every time we were just adding 1. Well, consecutive odd and even integers. Let's start with the consecutive odd because those are the funny ones. So we start here at negative 1 and we skip every other. So we skip the 0, go to 1, skip the 2, go to 3, skip the 4, go to 5, skip the 6, go to 7. Notice those are all odd numbers and to get from 1 on to the next we had to add 2. Well is it true to be the same thing if we do starting at an even number? So let's start at 2. And if we start here at 2, and then I skip 3 and go to 4, and I skip 5 and go to 6, again, I'm going two places to get from one to the next. So we do add 2, whether it's even or odd. So when we're at consecutive integers, then we would say that we had x, and then the next integer would be x plus 1, and then the next integer would be x plus 1 more, or 2, and the next one would be x plus 1 more than 2, or 3. So if I put 0 in here for x, then 0 plus 1 would be 1, 0 plus 2 would be 2, 0 plus 3 would be 3, and I'm getting my consecutive integers. If I'm doing the consecutive odd or even, I start with x, the next one would be x plus 2, and the next one I have to add 2 more, so 2 plus 2 would be 4, and if I were to do the next one, I have to add even two more. So 4 plus 2 would be 6. Okay, so let's do some work then. The product of two consecutive integers is 90. So that means that my numbers are going to be x, and consecutive would be x plus 1. So if I want the product, I'm going to have x times x plus 1 is or equal 90 or multiplying x squared plus x equal 90. But remember, we can't solve a quadratic until it's set equal to 0. So we have to subtract the 90 from both sides. So we have, I'll do it over here, x squared plus x minus our 90 then equal to 0. So now we're ready to factor. And if we do our x, we have negative 90 up here. And on the bottom, our b is 1, and it's a positive. But I have a negative 90, so I have opposite signs that I have to work with. In fact, let's change our color here. Opposite signs, and I want to get to a 1. So if I'm thinking about those real quickly, it's a positive 1, so I want the bigger number, which would be 10 and 9. 10 is positive, 9 is negative. If I add those together, I get a positive 1. And remember, again, when x is 1, then we can just say x plus 10 and x minus 9. x plus our m and our n. So now we're ready to see which what the possible integers are. So if x plus 10 is equal to 0, when we subtract 10 from both sides, it's going to be negative 10. And if we come over here and say x minus 9 is equal to 0, and we add 9 to both sides, x is going to be equal to 9, and now you can see that we have some options here. So in those options, I would, in my sentence, I would say the numbers are, or integers would be better. The integers are negative 10, and if I add 1 to that, x plus 1, or negative 10 plus 1 would be negative 9. or they are 9, and if I take x plus 1, then that would be equal to 9 plus 1, or 10. So my numbers are either negative 10 and negative 9, or positive 9 and positive 10. Right. Okay, so the next one says consecutive, two consecutive odd integers, so that's important for us to see, that we have odd integers, 
and it's again a product of those two odd integers and then it is um, 143. Well I don't really know what those are right off the bat so I'm going to go back to my calculator and bring that in here and I'm going to go to y equal and I put my 143 divided by x. The trick is I have to look for consecutive odd integers but when I go to my table I look in here and there's a whole bunch of decimals anyway but when I get down to 11 I see that it's 13. 11 and 13 would be 143 and those are consecutive odd integers so those must be my values. So I'm going to say then that I have when I factor over here it's 143. Now let's write the factors first. My numbers are x, always x is always the first one, times a consecutive odd, so that would be x plus 2, and that's going to be equal to 143. So when I multiply, I get x squared plus 2x equal 143. And if I subtract that 143 from both sides. I have x squared plus 2x minus 143. Now we have negative 143. B is 2, so that makes our m and n negative 11 and positive 13. Again, we have x squared having a coefficient of 1, so we can just write x minus 11, x plus 13. And those two factors are equal to zero. And if we work those two out, so x minus 11 equals zero, add 11, and x is equal to 11. If I take x plus 13 equal to zero, and I subtract 13 from both sides, I'm going to get a negative 13 on this side. Integers if you are negative 11 and negative 13. If you take 11 plus 2, you're going to get 13, so you have 11 and 13. 